Hello and welcome. My name is Kashish Kapoor and you are watching National Defence. China is known for its reverse engineering. Until now, China has been shy of revealing its reverse engineering capabilities. But for the first time, China has boasted of its capability to modify the fire control system of its Su-30 fighter jet. The modified Su-30 fighter jets might be any aircraft's nightmare. China has unveiled a set of photographs of the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's Su-30 mech fighter jets first training in the new year of January 6, 2019. The Su-30 mech 2 fighter preparing to take off was seen with a Chinese PL-12 air-to-air missile mounted on the aircraft. This does not seem to be doing anything special. But it indicates that China has already been able to modify the Su-30 MEX fire control system to give it the capability to use China's home ground weapons. The last thing that aircraft carrier wants to see is the Su-30 MEX-2 fighter jet carrying YJ-12 and YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles. Su-30 MEX is known as the most powerful jet of the Su-30 family. It has enhanced the structure on the basis of the former Su-30 fighters. It has two internal heavy-duty hanging points that have been enclosed since the Su-27 fighters, increasing its total payload to 12 tons. Su-30 MiG also has increased its maximum takeoff weight. Its maximum takeoff weight range is almost 4,000 km and therefore it can patrol the entire South China Sea with the support of the tanker aircraft. Since 2004, Su-30 MiG fighter jet has been an important airborne anti-ship force in Chinese military. The Su-30 MiG fighter jet, H-6 strategic bomber and J-7 fighter bomber shoulder together the heavy responsibility of China's long-range anti-ship attack task. However, today, more and more shortcomings of the Su-30 MKK fighter jet have been exposed after 15 years. As a Russian product, it originally can carry only the Russian-made KH-31 and KH-41 anti-ship missiles. These two missiles are, however, too old and their performances have long lagged behind that of China's YJ-12. Moreover, the KH-31 has been exported to the US and to be used as a target missile. And it is likely that the US has found a way to deal with it. Therefore, today's Su-30 MKK has become a chicken rib for China and its bomb-bearing capacity and cruising range are underutilized. But China has adopted its own method, which is to decrypt the fire control system of Su-30 MKK and make it compatible with China's home ground weapons. The fire control system is the system used by fighter jets to manage, aim at and guide offensive weapons and it is one of the most important systems on any fighter jet. The country of origin generally does not prohibit the user from modifying the system of exported fighter jets, but it will not provide decryption or a charge fee to do so. In this way, the user is on his way when it comes to the technical system modification, does it on his own. India repeatedly hit such wall when it was trying to modify the fire control system of the Mirage 2000 multi-role fighter jet and it had to pay $800 million to ask Dassault Aviation for help. China has already had a fairly mature experience in the research and development of fighter jet fire control system and the use of Russian fighter jets. China also has experience in upgrading Russian fighter jets independently. Therefore, China successfully modified the fire control system of Su-30 MKK and it is now compatible with China's home ground weapons. The photo of a Su-30 mech mounted with a Chinese PL-12 air-to-air missile in the training on January 6th is a proof of such accomplishment. Since PL-2 can be used, the YJ-12 missile can also be used. The Su-30 mech fighter jet has three 2-ton heavy hanging points while the YJ-12 missile just weighs 2 tons. 
That is to say, a Su-30 MKK fighter jet can mount three YJ-12 missiles to attack targets within a radius of 1500 kilometers. The distance between Zengmu Reef and Chinese Guangdong province is only 1900 kilometers. A Su-30 MKK fighter jet that takes off from the Chinese mainland can attack enemy targets within more than half of the South China Sea. And it can cover the entire South China Sea if it takes off from the Yongzheng Island. Similarly, the aircraft can also cover Indian landmasses. The super high speed of the YJ-12 missile is a huge threat to the Aegis system. It is convincible that the Su-30 MKK fighter jet mounted with YJ-12 missiles will become one of the most threatening weapons against enemy's aircraft carrier fleets. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, do share, subscribe and write in your valuable feedback in the comment box. If you wish to support National Defence, visit our Patreon page and the link to which is provided in the description. Stay tuned, stay fit, stay happy and Jai Hind.